few months, um, there has been concerted efforts to fight corruption and economic crimes in the country that seriously deny the provisions of basic necessities to the citizenry and affect development. The fight has seen several high-ranking officials and entities charged with various offenses, including asset forfeiture and confiscation. In this regard, the DCI forwarded to me an investigation file relating to the Deputy Chief Justice, which I have perused and given directions. This afternoon, I informed the Chief Justice David Maraga of my decision to grant consent for the arrest and prosecution of the Deputy Chief Justice, Lady Justice Philomena Betamuilo, on criminal charges. This decision has not been taken lightly, but it is the right decision under the law. Most of us in the Office of the Public Prosecutor are indeed officers of the court, and the dignity and independence of the judiciary is dear to us. I believe that judges in a democracy such as ours must be totally free to exercise their judgment in a societal environment that supports and protects them. Indeed, the precepts and principles of the Constitution must be our guide at all times. But the justice system only works if lawyers, prosecutors, magistrates and judges are fair and just. There can be no justice if lawyers, prosecutors, magistrates, judges and investigators who are court officials use their position to enrich themselves at the expense of the Kenyan people. I believe that the majority of court officials are honest, hard-working Kenyans who have offered their time and talents in the service of their country. The evidence in our possession reveals that, one, Lady Justice Mwilu abused her office for personal gain, accepted a gift in the form of money in circumstances which undermined public confidence in the integrity of her office, obtaining execution of a security belonging to Imperial Bank Limited, now in receivership by false pretense, unlawful failure to pay taxes, conducted herself in disregard of the law. In view of the above, I have concluded that the evidence is sufficient with a reasonable prospect of conviction, and it is, a, and it is in the public interest that criminal proceedings should be preferred.